Take our lead, let's help you make your mark. Our goal is your satisfaction, let us show you the way. Just Good Cheese Storeroom Husbandry, regular washing, cleaning or brushing can help keep them away. They can't make it through a lard or plastic coat but once these break down the little mites move in. Several years ago the cheddar makers used to fumigate once or twice a year to kill them all. Make your mark, take our lead. Next time you buy a piece of cheese with a mottled natural rind, such as a cloth-bound cheddar or Tom de Savoy, take a close look at the rind with a magnifying glass. If you look long enough, you will see tiny pieces of the rind are moving. These specks are microscopic arachnids known as cheese mites. Take our lead. How to get rid of mold mites with vinegar. This common household cleaner kills most mold species. Make a spray out of equal parts white vinegar and water to remove a small patch of mold. You may increase the proportion of vinegar for a stronger cleaner or add a few squirts of dish soap. Make your mark, take our lead. Try cleaning with a mixture of water and vinegar, one part vinegar to two parts water, or natural insect repellents and safe pesticides like neem oil or orange oil, one part oil to ten parts water. Use a hair dryer to dry the storage area. Flower mites like damp, humid places. Make your mark, take our lead. Cheese mites are so tiny that the naked eye can't usually detect them. Mites are present in all different types of dry goods, like grains and flowers, without causing direct harm to humans. Mites tend to be present on the outside of hard cheeses, such as cheddar and mimolette. Make your mark, take our lead. Applying vinegar to grain mites does not kill them and is not a recommended treatment. Preventing grain mite infestations is the best way to control them. Store all food items in dry areas low in humidity. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and hit the bell notification.